You know, I, I've had two heroes in life. My dad and Ronald Reagan. The incredible thing about President Reagan is I think he genuinely didn't hear the noise. <laughs> it, it just didn't register. Because he knew what he believed. And he focused on one of my favorite Reagan stories when he was newly elected governor. I don't know if this is true or not, but it's not a tribute. Um, <laughs> was when he was newly elected governor, two of his friends, Henry Fonda, Jimmy Stewart, came to visit. I sat down in the governor's office and I said, Ron, we are so excited you got elected. We are so excited. We want to, we want to sit down and we want to talk to you about this program in the California budget. It's a terrific program. It encourages young artists, directors, actors. It, it's prompts incredible creativity, so we want to talk to you about that. Program. And Reagan looked at him and said, well, <laughs> I didn't know about that program, but I'm very glad you brought it to my attention, because now I'm going to work to eliminate it. <laughs> now, you also, in your speech, you had mentioned that you had two heroes, uh, President Ronald Reagan, you gave an impersonation of, and your dad. But what about your wife? What role did your wife play in this in this primary election? I know she gave you special permission to be here, but what role did she play? And uh, tell us well, what role she played. My, my, my wife, I I am so blessed. She she is extraordinary. She is beautiful. She is brilliant. She is an amazing. Sucking up. Oh, you better believe it. She may watch this. That little guy, I'm not a fool. I, you know, now, she has horrible eyesight. She, she actually thinks I'm six foot four and blonde, so, so please don't, don't, don't rat me out. Um, you know, she has been incredible. Number one, we've got two little girls, a four-year-old and a one-year-old, Caroline and Catherine. And, and, you know, it is hard on the family. Uh, when you're campaigning, I'm on the road just about every day. I'm away from the girls, and, and Heidi has shouldered a great deal of that bur burden, and, and, and our daughters have shouldered a lot of that mm -hmm. burden. But Heidi has also worked tirelessly. Uh, you know, she was making 60 or 70 calls a day uh, in, in the last couple of months of the campaign, helping raise money, working, helping organize the campaign. You know, Heidi and I met uh, on a presidential campaign, on the 2000 Bush presidential campaign. We were one of eight marriages that came out of that campaign. Uh, and you were for Gore back then, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the George W. Bush campaign. Okay. And, and uh, you know, it was, uh, when you meet on a presidential campaign, I mean, that's a crucible. It's a battle where you're fighting to save this country. And so she's poured herself into this campaign. And, you know, Heidi is the daughter and granddaughter of Christian missionaries uh, in Africa. So as a little girl, she lived in Africa. Her grandfather spent 34 years as a missionary in Africa. And she comes from a, a, a family with a tradition of service. And, and, and I am so blessed to have a partner uh, in life uh, as a parent uh, and on this journey together where to, to stand for liberty and to, and to try to help turn our country around.